Well, this is a crisis, of course, that goes far beyond the Ukrainian borders. Here in the Inland Northwest, many with ties back in Ukraine are watching closely and waiting for news from loved ones. Grim 2's Cody Proctor spoke with one woman who came to the U.S. as a teenager from Ukraine. She joins us live tonight with what she had to say about the invasion. Cody? Well, Mark and Whitney, Ina Mayorv is the owner of the Yummy Snobby European Food and Deli on Sprague. Now, she it is, has, has owned the store for a couple of years. It's a store that specializes in food from Europe, particularly from countries such as Germany, Ukraine, and Russia. Ina Mayorv came to Spokane in 1998 when she was about 16 years old. She says her family left Ukraine as refugees because of their religious beliefs. It was difficult. It was very hard. Since then, she's made a life in Spokane, but she still has loved ones back in Ukraine. Since the attacks from Russia began, she's been hearing from them and says right now they're okay, but admits it's been hard for her to see what's happening in her home country unfold, even thousands of miles away. It's hard. It just you 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 want to be with them, you know. You want to hug them. You want to tell them, no, it's going to be all right. You know, it's going to stop soon. It's you know, it's not going to last for long. Kevin O'Connor is a professor of history at Gonzaga University with expertise in Russia. He's looking at the situation in Ukraine as an important moment in history. It's heartbreaking as a real tragedy for the Ukrainian people and also for the Russian people. And today what I'm seeing is Russian people going out into the streets and protesting in Moscow and in the other larger cities. Mayorv says a large portion of her customers are Slavic, with many of them from both Ukraine and Russia. She says even with what's happening in Ukraine, she wants Spokane's Slavic community to stay united. Let's not cause any more division and suffering among our nations. Now, she also says if you have friends who are impacted by what is happening in Ukraine, she says talk to them as a way to show support for them. In Spokane, Cody Proctor, Creme 2 News.